Yer. <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We are here in beautiful Arizona. And look what we got here for you today. This amazing Indian Chief Press launch for the 2022 Indian Chief Dark Horse. This is my bike right here. And this is my key fob. Beautiful key fob. So I'm taking out the uh, um, this green one right here, the 116. Oh, this thing is beautiful. Just gorgeous. We're gonna be doing things a little bit different today. Um, usually you guys know that um, I do the walk around first. Um, today we're gonna do the initial just first impression on the bike. After that we'll pull over somewhere and then we'll do a nice walk around. We'll go over all the details and um, my thoughts, my honest thoughts and review on what I think about this beautiful bike right here. Amazing. We got a few people out here as well. We got Bo from uh, Chase on Two Wheels. Jeff from V2 Visionary, OG right there, Kill Switch right here. We'll get her on camera later on as well. Check, uh, you guys can check her channel out. Then we have a bunch of uh, journalists and then the whole crew from the Indian Motorcycle Company. Uh, the president's here as a VP, um, the guys in charge of marketing and everything. So um, we'll get a little chance to talk with them later on as well. Ooh, look at that, sounds awesome. Today I'm gonna be on the uh, Chief. Tomorrow I'm gonna be on the um, the chief limiter right here which is gonna be that bike so two separate reviews so uh tune in enjoy the ride guys should be a beautiful beautiful scenic views today destination can't wait i'm really happy that i'm on the 116 and not under the 111 um we actually got to we actually got to pick, so yeah, I'm happy I got to uh, get on what I wanted. But we got to pick what we wanted to ride, so I picked this bike. Um, okay, so what do you have here? Menu. This dash. This four inch. This four inch dash is amazing. This is everything that I've been asking for, and you can touch it through your gloves. So let me see. We're ride bike ride. No, go back. Bike. No. Gorgeous map phone. Oh, here we go. So standard. We'll leave it on standard for now, and then we'll put it on sport. Put this kickstand up. Give it a little rep. Nice. So we do have three settings right here, three riding modes. So we got tour, standard, and sport. Right now we're gonna keep it in standard. Um, afterwards, we'll uh, dip it into uh, sport. You got your temperature on here, battery, economy, your range. Wow. Just put it on gauges for now. Nope. Navigation. Nope. She's close. It's just super thick. That's what it is. Gauge. There we go. Take it into first. All right. So group one is going out. Uh, I'm part of group two. <laughs> That's Bo right there. <laughs> He's super happy because he actually wanted to get on the barber. But he got what he wanted. Did some changes. Alright, group two. That's me. This clutch is very, very, um... Very soft. I like it. It's very plush. So this is going to be my first time on this bike. The 2022 Indian Chief Dark Horse 116. Now the 116, um, yeah, the 116 is a big boy. The 116 is pushing 120 foot-pounds of torque. So it's a pretty beast of a machine. Uh, the bike weighs around... 600 and 645 pounds around there i'll uh, put the exact number on the uh screen right now sea height is about 26 inches so it's uh relatively very low to the ground uh for you shorter riders like myself you're going to feel very comfortable on here um you're going to be able to flat foot this bike um it's wow okay so here's the first turn we're gonna first roundabout right here 
<laughs> feels good. It, it feels well. Let me see. Let me just take this turn. Let me take a few turns before I say that. But as far as feeling uh, the weight ratio or how everything is distributed on the bike, it feels well balanced. I really wish you guys could see what's behind me right now. The beautiful canyons out here in Arizona. Gorgeous, man. This bike also comes with cruise control, which is a plus. I like how nimble this bike feels. You got that 19-inch uh, wheel on the front, 16-inch wheel on the back. And it um, just feels great. It feels like you could just throw it around, you know? It feels lighter than what it actually is. Uh, look at that, it's like a river flowing down there, it's beautiful. As far as the bar setup, you have this drag bar setup right here. Uh, my elbows have a slight bend to them, so I feel really comfortable. It feels very natural. Man, Indian. <laughs> Indian knocked it out the park, man. That shifter really has a nice um, positive feel to it. Like you gotta put a little bit of extra power into it, which I like. I don't like those mushy little uh, foot controls where it doesn't seem like you switch gear or not. Switching gears on this bike makes you really feel like you're stepping into the next gear. But look at this, open space, man. You wanna know what's crazy? Uh, so, first and foremost, thank you so much to India Motorcycle for allowing me to do this. Because this is beyond my dreams, beyond anything that I could have ever dreamed of doing. I have a small channel and these people flew me out here, put me on this amazing bike and we're out here in this beautiful desert <laughs> doing cool stuff, man. Like, it's awesome. So, I was saying, like, a few weeks prior to them emailing me, I was uh, saying to myself, I'm like, you know, like one of my goals and one of my dreams is to go out to the west and just ride out in an open road just like this. That's what I'm doing right now. That's one of my lifetime dreams. Get out on that road, just ride all day and take Mother Nature in. Like, look at this. This is beautiful Western America right here. This is what, when, when you think about riding, this is what comes to mind right here, you know? Um, and then two weeks passed and I got that email and I'm like, what? That's amazing, man. This is uh, a dream come true, to say the least. This bike handles the corners really well. And it's just like, uh, the balance of it is so well distributed. It doesn't feel wobbly. And it's like, it's more of a feeling like you're in the bike than on the bike, if that makes any sense. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful, man. Beautiful. Just want to take it in for a minute. Ah, amazing. Now, as far as controls, guys, Right here on the left, we're gonna have our uh, high beam, low beam. We got our horn, we got our turn signals right here. And if you want the dual turn signals, you just gotta push it in. Then you have this button right here, which allows you to control the uh, analog right here in the front, the digital analog. On the right side, you're gonna have your power button, your on and off cutoff switch. And then also right here on the right, you have cruise control. So you're, you're getting a lot for your buck on this bike. Uh, the dark horse starts, um, at 16 around $16,000 and for those $16,000 you're 
getting this beautiful design bike you're getting technology that no other cruiser right now has which is something that i've been uh, talking about for some time now if you see my videos um having this type of technology in this digital analog right here this four inch digital analog is amazing you have your navigation on this four inch analog right here which tells you what turn to take is literally like having a navigation in your car or on your phone which is amazing uh your three riding modes which is a plus you have cruise control you have an led lighting headlamp in the front which by the way design looks amazing and um lights up quite quite good um leds turn signals rear turn signals in the back and brake leds in the back as well so all leds all around and you got the 116 engine on here and all that for sixteen thousand dollars and uh when you think about the competition they're not giving you that you're not getting this at all the minute this bike came out i was blown away by all the features that it has and you guys know that because i posted that video right away and i spoke about everything that india motorcycle did right with this bike and this bike is going to be a game changer there's going to be a lot of people looking at this bike you see indian had um they had a big uh big issue they didn't have a mid-sized cruiser in their lineup they had the scout look at this look i'm walking the bike flat footed yet that's how low it is which is pretty cool um they have uh the scout which is like your you know started by and after the scout you have that big breakup point right there where it's either you wanted a an entry-level bike or you're gonna hop on a chieftain or challenger and that was it there was really no mid-sized cruiser and that's what they've been missing and they uh they definitely knocked it out the park with this um now i think that they, there needs to be a follow-up if they want to stay and compete in the mid-sized cruiser level they um they're gonna have to launch another bike out later on in a few years maybe two years or three years on the line but for now i think they're good because they have this uh they came out with three variations of this bike so it's the chief it's the chief bobber and then the chief limited so uh, a lot of different choices right there for different clientels uh for people who are looking for different type of rides and uh there's a lot to choose from now with that being said it's also base model so there's the chief and then the chief dark horse which i'm on then then there's the chief bobber and the chief bobber dark horse um and so on and so on so the dark horse is going to give you the bigger engine and it's going to bring you with the uh digital analog the standard models don't do that so for a good uh three or four thousand dollars you're getting all this which in my book i think it, it's just well worth it just to go with a dark horse now as far as the seat i've been on here for too long yet on the bike but uh like i was saying before the, the the seat has like a nice gel pad into it um i don't see you doing like 400 miles in a day on this bike because i mean you'll probably want a more comfortable seat but for what it is it's actually pretty comfortable suspension wise um i don't want to say yet either because i haven't gone too far on the bike yet Um, but it is pretty comfortable. We haven't hit any holes yet, so I can't say how, you know, the absorption is of everything. But it feels great. It's not too stiff. And it's not too plush either. It's like the perfect amount of stiffness. Where it feels a bit aggressive. Look at this, man. I feel like a real cowboy out here right now. This is the modern day cowboy. <laughs> Amazing. Man, I am I'm beyond happy and I'm I'm blessed and I'm I'm humbled by all this man. Like I really am. This natural beauty out here. The wild wild west. Looking good. This fucking thing, when we look past that fucking uh, car, past that car, I was just like, oh, it's just <laughs> fucking 
back in the street. <laughs> All right, so I just switched it over to sport mode now. And even in the sound already, everything sounds different. Um, so yeah, let's do it on sport mode now, baby. Okay, that's a, <laughs> that's a huge difference. Holy crap. Sport mode. <laughs> sport mode is no joke. <laughs> this bike is a beast. Like it just, it wants you to launch you back. Yeah, you're uh, you're gonna need like a like a like a saddle man step up seat for this. You're definitely gonna need a step up seat for this, because this bike just wants to launch you back, man. She is a beast. Wow, she was so tamed before on standard. Woo. Now, as far as fuel consumption, um, you're gonna have a four gallon gas tank on here. Um, which is not bad. I mean, I wish I had a five gallon gas tank, but I guess from a uh, designer point of view, the four gallon gas tank, smaller tank, just cleaner lines, make it look better, cleaner. I love the way they just bobbed all the fenders. Um, very, very nice. That nice chunky tire in the back looks so good with that bob thunder wow sport mode i am um blown away by sport mode <laughs> going from standard to uh, sport mode right away felt like kind of doing like a stage one on your bike that's what it kind of felt like it's like hey my bike is stock and now I've got a stage one, so that's like the type of feeling you're going to get between both of them. I'm trying to get it between these little grooves and bumps to uh, check out the uh, suspension on here. See how bumpy it is and um, how uh, it takes all these little things. Absorption. Absorb. Arizona, man. Ariz Yo, shout out to Arizona, man. Shout out to everybody from Arizona. We're out here from Dirty Jersey, baby. I'm out here trying to make Jersey proud, man. <laughs> Big things, big things. I just put it on sport mode. Back there at the light now. Oh my god, dude! Sport mode is no joke, bro. It is no joke. <laughs> it's no joke. Let's put it in neutral. See how? Oh, you see this bike? You can find neutral very, very easy. Once again, with the positive clicks. Like once you shift it to gear, it just makes you feel like you're in that gear. Gives you that positive feeling of everything. Love the lines on his bike, man. I can't wait to get off the bike and give you guys a nice thorough walkthrough of everything. Uh, show you guys all the little details on the bike, the lines, the frame. It's just a uh, just a masterpiece. Now once again, I'm 5'7", guys. I'm able to flat foot it. I have a nice light bend to my leg. Very comfortable. I gotta say, this Thunderstroke engine is a beast. It's one hell of an engine. I feel like they really dialed in this transmission. Like, the way these gears shift, uh, it's like so quick, so prompt. It's instant. They have done a great, great job. The fact that we're out here actually riding, riding, not just, oh, hey, we're gonna go on a little uh, demo ride and you know, keep it at a, keep it at this and undo that. No, like these guys literally want us to ride the hell out of these bikes. I love that. I love that feeling, man. All right, so we're gonna hit the roundabout now. Show you guys the lean angle on here. 
green angle is superb. Awesome. Amazing green angle. Amazing lean angle. Look at this beautiful backdrop right here. the canyons baby <laughs> oh my god she's peppy man there's lots of torque like on sport mode whether you're in a high gear th there's a lot of power at low rpms high rpms it just feels great I gotta say, like, I I have nothing negative to say about this bike. I mean, why? I, I don't like the grips right now. That's it. But that's like a, that's an easy little swap out. That's like a cosmetic thing. Um, yeah, the grips, yeah, they kind of sucked, but uh, that's it. I really can't put my finger on anything that I don't like. Look at that. Look at this. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Amazing. This is dope, man. This is dope. Yo, I'm, I'm just a Dominican kid from Jersey, man. I'm out here riding these Indian motorcycles out in beautiful Arizona. This is so dope. I gotta say, we have some beautiful, beautiful landscapes in this country, man. Like, this doesn't even feel like, this doesn't even feel like I'm in the US right now. This feels like I'm in, like I'm in Switzerland right now, going up these little canyons, or Italy, with all these houses everywhere, all over the, all the mountains. It feels like I'm somewhere else. This reminds me of Switzerland right here. Look at that, wow. I'm so happy that I'm able to bring you guys on this journey with me. Give this video a thumbs up right now if you're enjoying this beautiful view. All this in right now. This is beautiful. All right, guys. So right now, what we're doing is that we're uh, taking pictures. They have a photographer uh, hidden in some of these corners, and we're just going up these uh, these loops, man. Second time going up, so I'm gonna show you guys these twisties, man. These twisties are. Insane. Like I said before, lean angle. Amazing.
We've made it up so high that, forget about the desert, we have snow here now. <laughs> Very high elevations where we're at. Looks good on that bike, man. She's gonna have to, uh, she's gonna have to get one. So, we have ended the day. I literally spent the whole day on this bike today, so I can literally give you an in-depth, full review. I've never spent a full day and done the type of riding that I've done today on this bike. It is absolutely amazing. Um, when it comes to performance, I I'm blown away. I, it, it, it just really, really surprised me. Um, I have a 2020 Lowrider S and I've been on a lot of bikes and there's not a lot of bikes that I get on that I can say, you know what, this bike matches or comes anywhere near the feeling that I get out of my uh, Lowrider S and this bike right here does it. I get almost, if, if not, I get the same amount of feeling, the same feeling that I get on my bike, I get on this bike right here and that says a lot. Uh, it, uh, I'm literally blown away. The features it has, the amount of torque, the riding modes, how nimble it is, how easy it is to throw around the twisties. It's just an unbelievable bike. I think what, what Indian Motorcycle has done here is created a monster. That's what they've done. And they're about to unleash it into the universe right now and... I hope I see a lot of these bikes on the roads. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people looking into them and purchasing these bikes. Because at that price point, <laughs> for everything that it offers, you, there's, there's not much you can say. Now, let's give you a nice, uh, a nice little walkthrough of everything. This is the Dark Horse. So the Dark Horse is going to start at $16,999. It is going to give you that Thunderstroke engine with the 116 on it, pushing 120 foot-pounds of torque, weighing in at 647 pounds. So at that weight limit, with that amount of power, the bike is gonna rip. And trust me, you guys saw today, it definitely rips. You're gonna have your 19-inch wheel in the front and your 16-inch wheel in the back. The back tire is a 180, so a nice little beefy tire in the back. Looks really good with that bobbed out fender. Really nice. Rear LED lights. We're also gonna have LED lights in the front bucket right here. 
really nice with the Indian branded right there in the front and LED turn signals for the front. Now moving away to the cluster, which is one of my favorite parts, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. This is a 4 inch digital analog cluster and you're going to have a lot and a lot to do on here. On here, you're going to find different settings. So this is going to be your RPM and speedometer. If you want to go and navigate to different things, you're going to have your GPS map right here, music. So you got Bluetooth connectivity with your phone. Um, you could check your miles and your ride and see how you're doing with that. You can also check the weather on here. So when we go into bike on here, we're going to have your temperature, the amount of MPGs you're averaging, um, your fuel consumption right there as well. And let's go to my favorite part, three riding modes. So we got touring, we have standard, and then we have sport, which is my favorite. Um, brightness, you can dim it, put it brighter, whatever you want. We'll get out of here. We'll get out of there. We'll get out of there. Oh. Hey menu. Uh, this is also touchscreen, like I mentioned before, if w with your gloves. So even if you have gloves, you're able to still um, touch the screen, which is amazing. We'll go ahead and shut that off now. Now this also has cruise control, as I mentioned before. Um, it's also gonna come ABS standard on the dark horse. Um, the regular model is optional. You're gonna have your floating one disc brake in the front. It's one brake, it's one disc in the front, but let me tell you, the stopping power, the bite power that these brakes have is really, really good. I, I'm, I was really surprised by that. That back brake, amazing. A lot of bite, and a lot of bite in that front brake as well. Now you're also going to have your USB port, which is located right here in the front, so you can connect your phone, connect your camera, charge anything you want, which is A+. plus. Beautiful design engine right here. I love this. Thunderstroke is... An amazing engine, let me tell you. Established since 1901. Now, the Chief is very special, guys, because it's been over 100 years since the first Chief got introduced in 1921. And 100 years later, we have this amazing follow-up model right here. Just goes to show you what, what Indian is doing. Despite of what people may say of Indian going and coming and going and coming, it's still present. And despite what people say about it being owned by Polaris or it wanted to be something else, Indian, it's its own thing. And this bike right here proves it. I am beyond amazed. <laughs> this, this bike definitely blew it out the water for me. Now, this frame right here, this chassis, I love the design of it. I love how it's exposed. The clean line, the clean work that they've done with it, super cool. I like the way the exposed shocks are as well, at that angle. This bike is also belt driven. Mid-side controls. The bobber comes with four controls. Um, the Chief comes with mid controls. You're going to have your exhaust right here. This bike would look amazing with a two and a one. And I'm pretty sure it'll rip after you do a stage one or stage two on this thing. Overall, I, uh, I, there's really nothing I can say that I don't like. The seat comfort, I've been on this seat all day. My butt does not hurt. This gel padding on here is, is really, really nice. What I will say is that if you're going to be riding on sport mode, you're going to have to change this out, and you're going to want to get a step-up seat because this bike is the way it is. It just wants you to launch you back. Anytime you, you know, you, you're cranking the throttle, you switch to the next gear, and they just want to launch you back. And it's the amount of power, the amount of torque this bike has is, <laughs> is just crazy, man. I'm like literally smiling from ear to ear. All day I have enjoyed the ride and we literally been on the road since, let me see, seven hours out on the road today. What else can I say about this bike? Uh, the frame, the exposed frame that you see here, super nice. I love that. Uh, suspension, I can't say that I hate it. Um, it's, I'm not gonna say it's the best suspension but um it's really good it definitely took a lot of bumps it absorbed everything a lot um more than what you're gonna get like on your harley bike so this suspension i think is a, a bit above harley suspension so two thumbs up there so you talk about competition you talk about everything else this bike 
is gonna cost you right now $16.999. And for that amount, you're gonna get all this, which the competitors are not providing for you. This is an amazing bike and I came here thinking that I was gonna like it, but I'm leaving here loving it. And I'm not saying this because Indian took me out here and they put me on this bike to show you guys. Because at the end of the day, you guys know how truthful I am about everything and you guys know how nitpicky I am about stuff. I really love this bike and there's nothing I can say I don't like about it. Maybe the grips. The grips are not the best. I, I kind of don't like the grips, but that's about it. I, there, I don't think there's, there would be anything I would change about this bike. It's perfect the way it is. I mean, I would definitely do a stage one or stage two and put some pipes on it, some little stuff like that. But the way it is, it's perfect. Um, that's gonna be it, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, we're gonna have another video on the Super Chief coming up in a few days, so tune in for that. And I welcome you to watch the rest of the videos, the vlogs that we've done out here in Arizona. They're just super special. Uh, once again, thank you so much, Indian, for allowing me to do this and bring me out here to beautiful Arizona. Just look at this. Breathe in the air. Well, you can't breathe it, but I'll breathe in it for you. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.